Hello, and welcome to the Transliteracy Project, created by Honest Accomplice Theater. I'm your host, Maybe Burke. So at this point, it might be helpful if we had some definitions for some of the labels that we use. First off, why do we have labels? In a world that doesn't leave space for more than two genders, having labels and words to describe our experiences is a way to gain access to resources we need and to gain visibility. Now here's the big reveal. Yes, the binary impacts trans people, but it also impacts people who aren't trans. Hi, maybe. I see. So, cis, spelled C-I-S, means on the same side. We use the word cisgender to refer to people who do identify with the gender that they were assigned at birth. So it's not just trans people who have gender identities, cis people have gender identities too, as women or men. And transgender is a term for anybody whose gender identity differs from the one that they were assigned at birth. Trans and cis are terms that have been around for thousands of years. And actually, so have trans people. This just in, a discovery this year of trans people. Nope. While trans people might be gaining more recognition right now, we've always been here. We just didn't have the words to describe who we were. And isn't it powerful to know that trans liberation impacts everyone, not just trans people? It frees all of us from the oppressive construct of women and men. So let's take a look at some of the labels that people use and define them. A gender non-conforming person might not identify with the gender that they were assigned at birth, or they might not identify with gender more broadly as a construct. Genderqueer. It can be an umbrella term or a specific identity that one would choose. It is someone who feels like they're not necessarily trans, cis, or non-binary. They tend to adopt this gender identity. Gender fluid. Rather than existing on a stationary point on the gender spectrum, one can float along it, therefore being more masculine, feminine, both, or neither from day to day. Transmasculine. A transmasculine person is a transgender person who identifies in a masculine direction, but doesn't necessarily identify as male. Transfeminine. A transgender person who identifies in a female direction. Non-binary is an umbrella term for all those that don't identify as men or women. Although there are many gender identities within non-binary, some people identify as just non-binary as a rejection of the entire construct of gender. Agender. Somebody who has no gender identity, also known as genderless. Bigender individuals have two or more gender identities. They may experience these gender identities at the same time or at different times. Polygender. Having multiple gender identities, particularly four or more, this can be at the same time or at different times. Demigirl is a gender identity for someone who is female-like, someone who is some combination of uh, non-binary but tends to be a little closer to female. Demiboy, a person whose gender identity is at least partly, but perhaps not entirely male, boyish, or masculine. Often you'll see the word trans with an asterisk attached to it. That asterisk is used to make sure that trans is an umbrella term to include all identities, but a lot of people feel that their identity is already included in the transgender umbrella, so to add that asterisk is just further marginalizing non-binary and gender non-conforming identities. Again, this is a case-by-case -case basis and everybody feels differently about it. 